hello everyone welcome to our channel i hope you all are doing fine so today we are going to learn how to install xmpp in ubuntu but before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing and also hit the bell notification button so that you never miss our future tech videos so let's get started okay so to install XMPP, we need to download the XMPP from the XMPP's official website because we will not found the package in the software center and let's go to the official website of XMPP and for that I am searching XMPP in Google and yes it's the official website of XMPP www.apachifriends.org and in the right side we are seeing some information and let's see what's it's trying to tell us xmpp is a free and open source congrats guys it's open source software xmpp is a free and open source cross-platform web server solution stack package developed by apache friends consisting mainly of the apache http server mariadb database and interpreters for script written in php and Perl programming language so basically it will make your pc a, a temporary server and you can run any web app that's that written in php or Perl. and as a database you can use mariadb database and as a http server you will find the apache one but remember guys you will not find the nginx one you will only find the apache one so let's download the file first so that we can get the installation started and i mean the first page of apachefriends.org and as you can see there are three files for three common operating system windows linux and mac os and uh, there's a thing guys that if you want to install some linux software in your ubuntu or centos or any other linux system we need to download the installation file it's a very basic thing but when you download the file i don't know if you have noticed it or not for debian or for Ubuntu we download the dev file and for CentOS we download the RPM file and for Arc Linux we download the uh, package.tar.xz file but in this case we will not download this type of file we are in Ubuntu but we will not download the dev file so how I will install is it not official yes it's official but we will install the XMPP from a file named run file and it's the link of that run file and let's click it and download it okay i have already clicked it and maybe it's redirecting yes my download manager has already catched the download and let's download it and it's not so huge it's only 149 megabyte as we can see so let's wait for the download to be finished so the download has already finished and let's do the final part of our video installing the xmpp and i am going for the xmpp file and yes it's here i have downloaded it here and i am moving it from here to my root system download folder for some flexibility i am moving it you know you don't need to move it okay so in order to install the run file First of all we have to open the run file from the terminal and for that we have to ensure that the run file has the executable permission so let's check it I am right clicking and from the properties here there is a permission tab I am seeing and as you can see it has the executable permission you can give the executable permission from terminal also so for a quick tip i will show you how you will give any file executable permission so for that i am removing the executable permission and let's see how i will give the file to executable permission from the terminal for that i am opening a terminal here as you can see i have opened the terminal here let's run ls here and yes you can see there is a folder and there's our run file and i am copying the run file yes i have copied the name and the common is chmod plus x the plus x basically means we will give this file executable permission for that we need to use the plus x here 
okay so i am pasting the file location as i am in the same folder that the file in so that's why i have only pasted the file name and let's enter it and yes let's see what happened and okay so it has the permission okay uh, if you have remembered that i have removed the permission and i have also give the file permission from the terminal and okay so no more talking let's get to the installing part so for that i am opening a terminal here again and remember guys you will need to use sudo here and i am using sudo then then i will drag the file here and as i have already copied the file name and i am in the same folder that the file in it so i am pasting here okay so that's the basic command we you can just run the file in this line but you need the root permission so you have to give the sudo here as i have given it okay so enter and it's asking for my sudo password and i am giving it enter let's see what happened yes so our rest of the work is in the gui mode okay so our work has uh, our work has become easy from here let's next and i will leave it default i will not change anything here next and as you can see it's telling us that it will be installed in the from the root folder there is a name folder named opt and in that folder there will be a lamp folder and in this folder it will be installed if the lamp folder doesn't exist it will automatically create the lamp folder okay so next and next okay so the final next as you can see it's already unpacking the files for the installation and let's wait so finally our installation has finished and let's launch xmpb the control panel of xmpb as it is already checked here okay finish so here is the xmpb control panel and as you can see apache web server is already running here but first i will stop it okay yes as you can see the tree service has been stopped okay so let's open the incognito window here and type uh, localhost here and what it's fine it's fine nothing okay we have no web server here so let's start the apache web server and let's see it's starting yeah it started now reload the tab and yes the magic begins you can see the apache default page here okay and there is a php my admin also i let's click on the php info and here all the info about your php system here okay so there are one more important thing that if if i close the control panel how to open the control panel again because there are no control panel here as you can see how to open that gui again you can of course you can also manage these things from the terminal but for uh, for easy management uh, many people want to use the gui but how to open the gui so let's test it how to open the GUI. Let's find a solution here. Okay, I am stopping the Apache web server and it's stopping and it's already stopped and closed it. Yes. So let's find let's find a control panel. Okay. So for that I am going to the root folder. And if you have remembered that it's installed in the OPT lamp folder from the root location, and I am already in the root location and the opt folder and the lamp folder so these are all the files that xmpp has made in our system okay so which file is the control panel one what about this file okay so let's run this file on the terminal okay but remember guys you will need the sudo permission here i'm giving it sudo and the file name is manager linux and manager linux x64 dot run okay so i'm giving my password here 
is the control panel again okay so that's for today hope you guys liked our video and hit the like button if you liked our content share the video with others don't forget to give us feedback in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel now if you are curious to learn new tech ideas and one more thing guys if you want to learn that how to install wordpress in xmpp i have already covered that topic and i will give the video link in the description box please check it so goodbye